Hi, welcome to How to Repair. Today I'm going to show you how to change a drum paddle on a Samson washing machine. This is one of the most tedious jobs I ever have to do. It should be a very quick job. On other makes you've just got little locking tabs that hold the paddle in place and release. But Samson, in their wisdom, have put a screw on the underside of the drum. This sits between the inner drum and the outer drum. Now you'd think the bottom hose would have to come off the machine, which is called the sump hose, to remove this screw, but it doesn't line up with the hole. We have to take another hose off the machine, which is at the top. Now on some other models, this hose is not fitted to the machine, and therefore you have to split the drum to take the drum paddle out, especially on some American models of machines. I'm going to show you a quick technique. We'll take the machine down off the workbench, but first let me show you the damage that has been done to the actual paddle. Okay, the paddle is living inside the drum, and as you can see here, the drum paddle is damaged. I put my light inside the machine so you can see. Now this screw is at the front of the machine, but it doesn't line up with the sump hose. Now when ordering drum paddles, make sure you use your full model number, which is either on the inside of the door or on the back of the machine. You need to identify the correct drum paddle for your Samson washing machine. You can find all these at the website, which you'll see in a minute. As you can see, there's a great big chunk out of the drum paddle. This has most probably been done by people putting um, trousers with buckles or something metallic has damaged the paddle. Sometimes people put trainers inside the machine. This can also drum it, uh, damage the drum paddle. But the screw is actually underneath there. On some other makes and machine, you are able to release the drum paddle by putting a pin down to release a locking tab. But on the Samson machines, they actually put a screw in and this predominantly corrodes over a period of time so I'm going to show you some quick techniques for taking the drum paddle off first let me lift the machine down off the workbench okay first things first take the lid off the machine two screws at the back straightforward then the machine lid will slide away okay this is the hose that I'm talking about so you need to remove the two clips and take the hose off now you need to rotate the drum until the actual screw hole lines up here is the hole and we'll just zoom in okay there are three paddles in the washing machine and you need to rotate the drum until the paddle comes to the top and this is the bad paddle and if we look closely here is the screw and you can see the screw is corroded and slightly loose as well. If we go to another paddle, just so I can show you the damage on all the screws. Ah, this screw is in relatively good condition and you can clean this out. It's very important that you clean this out before you even try to undo it as you may round the head of the screw. But if we go around to the bad paddle, and you can see the screw slightly loose, but there is a very, very poor amount of head left on the screwdriver. Now this should be a Phillips, and turning the Phillips, I can't actually undo it. So if you use a flat blade screwdriver and make sure it's got a head that fits in perfectly, and we go down, and I'll try and get my hand out of the way while I turn this, but I've got to put some force to, put, ah, there we go. Now you can see that the screw is turning, and we can undo the screw, but I'll do that slightly off camera because I can't do this while filming at the same time. 
but you can see the screw is turning and that's because I'm using a flat blade screwdriver with a sharpened edge to actually get in there. Now this screw when you undo it may drop. Now you can't use a magnet to actually hold the screw because it'll either be stainless steel or some type of hardened aluminium and it's going to fall down to the bottom. If it does fall down to the bottom, if you remove the sump hose, you may be able to get at it. But what I'm going to do is just undo the screw until I can feel that it's loose. And that's as loose as I want it. And I'm just going to rest it there, if it'll stay there. Oh, it has it got some metal in it because it is magnetic. And there is the screw. And of course you can see the damage on this. And this flat blade screwdriver fitted in there nicely. Now we're going to be able to remove the paddle and replace the screw. Okay, I'll put a light in there so you can actually see. Now here is the drum paddle. And what you need to do now is slide the paddle forward direction, okay? Once the paddle slides forward, it will come out. Now we can clean up this surface quickly and then replace it with a new paddle. You can actually see the amount of dirt and the person who owned this washing machine had pets because you can see hair there. Uh, be careful when cleaning up this because they are sharp edges. So just go over it with a scourer, clean it up. This shows you how much muck actually appears in washing machines. And if you watch my video on how to remove mold on a washing machine, it'll show you how to clean the drums. Uh, I will put a link to that below in the description. Now the new drum paddles ready to insert. You'll notice that there's little tabs and all these tabs should be just slightly rising on the drum. This is what locks the actual paddle in place. So we'll just drop this down, put it into the holes, then slide it backwards and you will hear it click into place. We can now rotate this round to the top and then insert a screw. Now, as I said, the old screw is completely rounded inside and however hard I put a Phillips in there, it's not going to turn. Now, because I recycle everything at our workshop, I have got some other screws out of other machines. This is the same thickness, but it's got a pointed tip. Uh, it's the same length, but it's got a good head. So the screwdriver fits in that nicely and is able to turn. Uh, and this screw, is totally non-magnetic. Uh, this means that this is a better quality screw than the original uh, because it's not going to corrode in any way and that would normally mean that the head would stay in good condition. If you are able to go to a hardware store and get a screw the same size, the same thickness, uh, also in stainless steel, it would be better in stainless steel, um, this will last for eternity. Okay, so you need to rotate that paddle now to the top until we line up the hole. And because this screw is not magnetic, we're going to have to put it onto pliers, pin nose pliers you'll need, and you'll need to hold it in place just to drop it down and be very careful that you don't lose it. But we need to lock that into the position once it's resting in place we can now stick the screwdriver in be very careful and now we're able to do this up And because it's fresh plastic, it will go in nice and tight. Do not over tighten to strip it, 
take it hand tight and then quarter of a turn and there we go okay just quickly put the hose back on and there's markers here to line up the seam so just line up the seam perfectly push that down put your clip back on then do the top one as you can see there's lugs that line up with that one and then push that on so the lugs go all the way then put the clip on and we're done put the lid back on the machine and there you go a new drum paddle fitted to replace the old one that was damaged remember you should always after doing any work on a samson washing machine run the machine through the calibration mode the link to this video is in the description below if you ever move house or do work on Samsung washing machines, you should always run it through a calibration mode first before starting to wash your clothes. Thanks very much indeed for watching this video. All parts are available at the website. And if we really helped, you can always click on the Bipolar Beer page and donate to the website. Thanks very much indeed for watching. I hope we helped you repair your machine.